Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will cover lecture number three that is about stress transformation. It is the continuation of previous lecture. In the previous lecture we have covered normal stress component and we have derived the equation for that. Today we will drive uh, for shear stress component. As we have discussed in the previous uh, lecture about the sign convention. So same sign convention will be used here. If you look at diagram A, figure A, this is a 2D element. This axis is x axis and this axis is y axis. Stress is being acted on this element R sigma x sigma y and tau x y and equivalent and uh, stresses are being acted here that are not shown because stress act in a pair now we are interested in finding the shear stress component along this inclined plane that is at orientation theta from the vertical axis so if we take this element here and if we assume this surface as delta A then the area that is vertical will be cause component of this delta A whereas horizontal area will be delta A sin theta as we have done in the previous lecture same procedure will apply here but now to get tau x prime y prime we will apply summation of all forces along y prime axis should be zero and there are five force component along y prime axis that will have the impact along y prime axis and these five are underlined by red line one two three four five first force this is y prime axis and this is first force the whole force is acted along this axis and it is along positive so i have written here as positive second force this is the force and we have resolved into two component this component this is along y prime axis so we are interested in this component value for this component will be sigma x delta a cos theta into sin theta if you look at this if this is triangle if this angle is theta so this will be sine component and again it is along positive so I have written here as positive third force if we resolve this force into two component one is this and other is this this component is along y prime axis and it is in uh, negative axis that's why I have written here as negative value for this component will be tau xy into delta a cos theta into cos theta because this angle is theta adjacent to this angle component adjacent to this angle will be cos fourth force this is the force and we have resolved again into two component rectangular components along this axis and along this axis this is along positive y axis that's why i have written here as positive and value for this component will be tau xy into delta a into sin theta into sin theta fifth and last force this is the force and we have resolved again into two component one is this other is another is this so along y prime axis is this one and it is along negative y prime axis that's why i have written his as negative and value for this will be sigma y into delta a into sin theta into cos theta if we take this mission of all forces along y prime x it should be zero so the, the equation that will be developed is tau x prime y prime into delta a plus tau x y delta a sin theta into sin theta into sin theta minus delta y delta sigma y delta a into sin theta into cos theta minus tau xy into delta i cos theta into cos theta plus sigma x delta i cos theta into sin theta is equal to zero so these two 
will have uh, delta is comma or off so that will be cancelled out and these two are tau xy so tau xy is written here sin square theta and cos square theta will be around it so if you have some mathematical manipulation you will get this and for sigma x into cos sin theta cos theta and sigma y into sin theta cos theta so the equation we will get after simplification will be tau x prime y prime is equal to sigma y minus sigma x into sin theta into cos theta plus tau xy into cos square theta minus sin square theta by trigonometry we know sin theta cos theta is equal to sin 2 theta by 2 and cos square theta minus sin square theta is equal to cos 2 theta so if we substitute this value taking the negative coming from here overall result will be tau x prime y prime is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into sin 2 theta plus tau xy cos 2 theta and this is equation 9 2. So stress transformation equation. So uh, stress component acting along x prime x and y prime x is will be sigma x prime is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta plus tau x y into sin 2 theta. This is equation 9 1 9.1 that we have derived in the previous lecture. Today we have derived tau x prime y prime is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into sin 2 theta plus tau x y into cos 2 theta so in this lecture we have derived this equation so uh, we have taken the element triangular element in, having the inclined surface and if we apply summation of all forces along x prime axis we will get sigma x prime and if we apply summation of all forces along y prime axis we will get tau x prime y prime so uh, for normal stress along y prime axis if we want to find this just put theta is equal to theta plus 90 in equation 9.1 this equation if we put uh, theta theta in, uh, plus 90 so this will be 2 theta plus 180 and for 180 it cause remain cause so you know trigonometry similarly here so uh, after putting this value and having mathematical manipulation we will have sigma y prime is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta minus tau x y into sin 2 theta so this lecture concludes at uh, at this point so thank you very much